Booyah! This is why you need to look at every quarter you have. You're going to want to watch this video because we're going to break down what you should do if you come across one of these quarters, how to sell them, how to maximize that value. Let's hop into this video with a 2022 Wilma Mankiller quarter. This one has a die break on the obverse that is retained. So look at the top center area of this coin. This is an error that's very well known out there. Pay close attention if you're going through your 2022 quarters because this example sold for 130 four bucks. One of my favorite years for the Washington quarter is 1932 because it is a very rare date and it is the first year the U.S. started producing the Washington quarter. The planchet, which is the piece of metal this coin was struck on, has an obverse, which means the front, lamination, mistake, or error on this coin. You need to look very closely right above in God We Trust area. You can see the lamination that's occurring. This one got graded by NGC at an AU, meaning almost uncirculated, 58, and it sold for $228. Pay close attention to this one. This is a 1964 25 cent Washington quarter graded by PCGS at an AU55. That means this coin was out in circulation before someone picked it up and noticed it and said, hey, this is a rare coin. You're going to want to get your scale out with this coin because you want to weigh your coin. It's going to weigh 5.26 grams because this coin was accidentally struck on a planchet that is the incorrect weight. Typically, these will weigh 6.25 grams. This weighs 5.26 grams. Again, a coin that is struck on the wrong planchet can be worth a lot of money. This this 25 cent coin sold for $360. When you're looking at the front of this 2003D 25 cent main statehood order, you would never guess that this coin weighing 4.7 grams, which is incorrect, had a reverse missing clad layer. This is a minting mistake. Very beautiful coin. I like these coins a lot. I think they're very collectible. They're worth a lot of money. This example sold on heritage auctions for $576. So someone found this coin out there, quite literally turned 25 cents cents into $576. Look at the back of this coin. Back bottom center, there is typically a mint mark there. If there is no mint mark, that means it was struck at the Philadelphia just like this coin. That sold for $1,080 when you flip it over to the front. This 1966 25 cent Washington quarter has a struck in and retained wire obverse. Graded by PCGS at an AU58. If you ever come across something like this, make sure you do not pull out whatever is in there because that will decrease the value of the coin. You want to keep any of those obstructions retained fully. This example sold for $1,080. $1,560 for this 1999 25 cent Delaware statehood quarter with a reverse die cap. All you got to know is that this NGC graded mint state 66 coin has a big issue going on with it. And if your coin has this, then please pay attention. Don't just put this off to the side. You want to get it looked at by a few experts before you sell it because maximizing the value of a coin like the ones that you saw in the this video is super important to try to get the most money possible. The first thing we recommend is picking up that free ebook down below. There is no strings attached whatsoever. After you read over the book, what you're going to want to do is contact a few coin and currency experts and see what they say about your coin or coins. From there, you'll move through the process, but please do not go to a pawn shop or anyone you do not trust. You need to find someone trustworthy to make sure you're getting the full value of your coins, guys. We hope you enjoyed this video. Pick up that free coin and currency ebook down below. Hello and we'll see you in the next video.